Welcome back to another Ham Radio Tech prep video. This is part five. Let's get into it. What is the appropriate way to call another station on a repeater if you know the other station's call sign? Answer. Say the station's call sign, then identify with your call sign. What technique is used to ensure the voice messages containing unusual words are received correctly? Answer. Spell the words using a standard phonetic alphabet. What should you do before calling CQ? Answer, all of the above. Listen first to be sure that no one else is using the frequency. Ask if the frequency is in use. Make sure you are authorized to use that frequency. How should you respond to a station calling CQ? Answer, transmit the other station's call sign followed by your call sign. Which Q signal indicates that you are receiving interference from another station? Answer, QRM. Helpful tip, think of the M in here as man-made interference. Which Q signal indicates that you are changing frequencies? QSY. Think of it like, why me? Like, why do I gotta change? Like, that's how I'm remembering it. Why are simplex channels designed in the VHF and UHF band planes so stations within range of each other can communicate without tying up a repeater? Which of the following indicates that a station is listening on a repeater and looking for a contact? The station's call sign followed by the word monitoring. What is a common repeater frequency offset in the 70 CM band? Plus or minus 5 MHz. How is a VHF UHF transceiver reversed function used? Answer. To listen on a repeater's input frequency. All right, that's it for section 5. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, safety is an illusion.